Hey everyone, this is Kate Schwenke, and I'm going to be doing a packing video for the Vera Bradley Ultimate Backpack. This is one of their new colors. It's called Ink Blue. It's really pretty. It's a really dark blue, and then there's this really pretty pattern on the front with the light blue and medium blues and some green and some white. So I have this packed up as a diaper bag for a seven-month-old little boy, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the outside looks like first. So this is the very front. There's a front flat, flat pocket here with an ID card holder. And there's two small slip pockets in the front here that are separated by a stitch. Then behind that, there's a deep pocket that goes from here all the way to here. And it kind of comes out too, like it's gusseted. And then it has a magnetic closure here. Right behind that, there's a uh, deep pocket too that goes all the way down to here from up here. And there's a double zipper at the top here that goes to the sides. On each side there is a bottle pocket kind of. Um, it's a very slim pocket. It's more like a slip pocket than anything else. On the back here we have two adjustable straps. There is a zipper that goes across here. It's a short pocket. It goes about to here. Um, then we've got the grab handle, which is kind of like a like really thick piping is I guess how I can describe it. You have one more slip pocket on this side and that is your outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have packed in here. So on this side I have one bottle. It's a short one but you can fit a tall one um, and like I was saying these are more like slip pockets this is probably as thick as you're going to be able to get in here for a bottle. So buy the thinner ones if you're going to be getting this bag. So there you go. That's all I have in that pocket. I think that is all you could possibly fit. On this side, um, I just want to show you that you can also fit one of those ready to use infamil formulas. Just for size reference, if you have one of these, um, it does fit in there. It takes a little bit of wiggling, but you can do it. So that is all I have on that in that pocket. I don't think there's anything else. On the back here, um, there's that zipper there. And in there I have one burp cloth. And I have it folded in, in half, pretty much. It's a long one. And then right there with it, I have a, oops, I have a small wet bag. This is by Planet Wise. And I just had that folded in half with it. Like I said, it's a short pocket that goes about here. I can fit my Petunia Pickle Bottom Wanderlust wallet in this pocket. And I can show that to you later if you're interested. So that's the back. And I don't have anything else on the outside. So on to the inside, I guess I'll start here. In this pocket, I think it is meant to be used to hold your iPad, your iPad mini. So we have, I have my husband's iPad mini in there. Um, it's just in one of those slim cases, the like magnetic closure ones. So that fits really great in there. I also used my Defender case with my iPad mini and it fit in there. It is a little snug, more snug, but um, it did fit. So that is all I had in there. It is a deep pocket though, and it is a little bit roomier. Under there, or in front of there I guess, um, there's another pocket. And I've got my Petunia Pick a Bottom Wonderless Wallet. I have it vertically in there. And this is the Caspa Night Sprint. Right next to that I have my Mr. Gray Itty Bitty, and this is a, a GGB print. Just in case you don't know, this is a Mr. Gray print. It's um, a custom piece. And in here I have punch cards and insurance cards and vaccination records and things like that. Move some things out of the way here. So also under that I have another GGB piece. This is a small set piece from the GGB Marquise Legacy Collection. 
and this is a custom dyed piece by my friend Stephanie. She put, um, I don't know if you can see very well, but there's a really nice blue lining on there, and that's why I got it to go with this bag. Um, so inside here I have a Jujube coin purse, and in here I have some panty liners. I have a rubber band, a chapstick, eye drops, and a hairbrush. So it's kind of like my little mommy kit. So that's all I have in there. Like I said, there's a little ID card slot here, which is kind of nice if you just need to go, hey, there's my ID, <laughs> instead of fishing it out of your wallet or something. So next I have uh, these two front slip pockets here. I have my keys, I have some tissues, and I have a pack of gum. I also have on the other side, cell phone. This is the iPhone 5. So that's all I like to keep on this one. I don't really like to keep anything else with my phone when I have it in there, just so that it doesn't get scratched up and all that. Um, I also wanted to mention for the ladies who are thinking about using a jujube set in this uh, particular bag that a small set piece does fit in the very front here. I just decided to use it in the back pocket here, but it does fit there, just in case you were wondering. So that is all I have in the very front there. Now on to the inside. There is a double zipper at the top, which is really nice for the Vera Bradley pulls. And the zippers go down about a little bit over halfway down the bag, stop at the pocket. So this is what the inside looks like. It is a very dark interior, so I suggest if you're going to use set pieces, um, you're gonna have to get something that's a little lighter so it doesn't get lost inside. But it, I really do like that uh, print they have on the inside there, it's kind of, mystical looking I guess. <laughs> it's pretty. So um, there is a small zip pocket at the back here and on there I have my uh, Platinum Petals GGB print um, EOS holder. This is a custom piece my friend Amanda made for me. And in there I have one pacifier. I like to keep my passies in these. Just seems uh, a good alternative to a passy pod which is also a GGB item. So in that pocket, I have some teething toys for my seven-month-old. I have the raspberry teether. I have a teething ring. I have Sophie the giraffe back there. <laughs> and I have a pack of passy wipes, and these also clean toys, which is why it's in that pocket. So that is all I have in there, but it's a pretty good sized pocket. So, let's see, there we go, I can bend it a little bit more. I decided to put my set pieces um, vertically in here. You can put them uh, horizontally, and that does work. It actually gives you a little bit more room on top when you do that, but because I'm only packing it for my seven month old, I don't need all that extra space. So I decided to, I guess, save the room inside and just go vertically. So I have a medium set piece in the Marquise print. Again, this is dyed by my friend Stephanie. In here I have a change of clothes for my baby. I have socks, two onesies, some pants, and I think that's it. So yeah, if I have it all, I guess I can show you. There's the socks but I have it all rolled together so that I could fit it all into the medium set piece. So I have it like that. There, it's a pair of pants and two onesies all rolled together. So next to that, I have my large set piece in the Marquis print. In here, I have my diapering stuff. I have, let's put that back there a little bit. 
And here I have my Mr. Gray Booty Pod cover with the booty pod inside. And this holds baby wipes. If you've never heard of a booty pod before, these are really great. They just are like a little plastic um, holder for your wipes and they open real easy. You can access all your wipes in there. The booty pod cover is just for looks. You don't have to have one for it to work, but they really make it look cute. <laughs> so with uh, that in there, I have a throwaway change pad. I also have a light change pad in Mr. Gray print. This comes from a Jujubee Hobo Bee. And then I have four size three diapers. And that all fits into the large set piece. So the only thing that I have left in here is my mini med kit. And this print is called Iconic by Jujube and Tokidoki. In here I have just a few first aid needs just in case something might happen. I have two gauze pads. I have two wet ones, just in case there's a little bit of a mess that needs to be disinfected or something. I have two little alcohol pads, two band-aids, and a little sticker. And I also have a three and a half year old, if you're wondering why I have stickers and things for a seven month old. <laughs> this is mostly just for when I'm out with my three and a half year old, but um, it also contains this, which is for me, and I have some Midol and Ibuprofen in here just in case I have a, a headache or something. So anyways, that is all I have in my Dear Bradley Ultimate Backpack. And uh, I just want to tell you, I took this out today and it was so lightweight, very comfortable. I really, really liked it and I had gotten a compliment on it on the very first day that I had it. So uh, anyways, hopefully this was helpful for you if you're looking to get this particular backpack and maybe use it as a diaper bag. It's a great diaper bag and hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.